Before we move on to the last example, just a real quick note that since I originally made that last video, I changed the question so it says what heights for women would be considered unusual. And in the video I showed taller than 69.5, but I added a note, but if you missed it, it's also shorter than 58.5 because they're both unusual because they're less than 5% in those two ranges. One's at the high end and one's at the low end of the graph, which I don't have the graph up here anymore, but you get the general idea. All right, now let's consider the following data distribution. So this particular distribution has a mean of four and a standard deviation of 1.9. Is it appropriate to use the empirical rule to approximate the proportion of the data between 2.1 and 5.9? If so, find the approximation, and if not, explain why not. So I have this one right here, and then I have the same basic question for this one down here, where the mean is four and the standard deviation is 1.5, and then I'm talking about 2.5 and 5.5. All right, now let's go back to the, the empirical rule just real quickly. And it says that if a distribution is roughly bell-shaped, see that right there? All right, that's key because if it's not bell-shaped, then all bets are off, right? This whole rule only works for this normal curve right here that is symmetric and has inflection points and all that good stuff. So if you don't have symmetry and inflection points, you're in trouble. So what, let's look at these two graphs right here. This top one, is not a bell shape. It's skewed right. And that means that it's not appropriate to use the bell, the empirical rules. Let me write that. Not appropriate to use the empirical rule because the data distribution is skewed right. Not bell shaped. Right? It's not a normal distribution, therefore we can't use the empirical rule. Done. That was pretty easy. Let's see if the next one's so easy. No, it's not. All right, so this one, the data set roughly is bell shaped, so it is appropriate. Let me copy and paste that. There we have it. So it is appropriate to use the empirical rule as the data distribution is roughly bell shaped, i.e., normal. Okay, so now we have to figure out how much is within between 2.5 and 5.5. So these are the numbers they're giving us 2.5 and 5.5. So what we really need to do is figure out where those fall on this normal curve, right? So we know the mean is four in the middle, right here, the center, four. And then we need to figure out where is 2.5 and 5.5. Are they one away, two away, what's the deal? So let's go back down here and figure that out. So we know that the mean is the center, which is four. So let's take the mean and take away one standard deviation. Actually, let me abbreviate that real quick, just like we do right here. So the mean take away one standard deviation. There it is. That would be equal to four take away 1.5, which is equal to 2.5. Well, yay, that's what we wanted, 2.5. That's one of the numbers that we need, right? So that's good. Well, now we figured out the low one, let's figure out the high one. So let's try the mean plus a standard deviation. That would be 4 plus 1.5, which lo and behold is 5.5. So there are the two numbers. So we don't have to go any further than that. Now if they would given us 2.5 and, um, I don't know, 7, 7 would be two standard deviations away. So you'd have to keep going to figure it out. So then we know we're talking about the mean plus or minus one standard deviation. So that means that we must be talking about 68%. Uh, let me put it this way. Since 2.5 to 5.5 is one standard deviation away from the mean, um, 68%, well, approximately, 68% of the data um, should fall between 2.5 and 5.5. Done. Right? So, and I, if you wanted to, you can make a little note to yourself. Like, if they had given you 2.5 and 7, then you would have to go and figure out the percentages. So, 2.5 is 34%, to 5.5 is another 34%, to 7 would have added on another 13.5%, because 7 would be right over here, because that's two standard deviations away. All right, we are all done with section 3.2. I hope it was enjoyable for you. 
and I'll see you back here for more videos for section 3.3.